Welcome guys and welcome once again to Girls for iCloud YouTube channel. At the grand 70th birthday celebration of Bishop David Oyedepo, the esteemed Archbishop Margaret Idahosa, wife of the late Bishop Benson Idahosa, took the stage with boldness and grace, delivering a powerful speech that captivated the audience. Margaret Idawosa, known for her fearless leadership and dynamic ministry, spoke with deep admiration for Bishop Oyedipo, emphasizing the profound impact of his life and ministry on Christianity worldwide. In her speech, she highlighted Oyedipo's steadfast faith and unwavering commitment to advancing the kingdom of God. She recounted moments where Oyedipo's teachings and bold declarations of faith inspired generations comparing him to a spiritual giant who carries forward the legacy of power, healing, and deliverance that her late husband, Bishop Benson Idahosa, also championed. Margaret Idahosa, unflinching in her words, described Oyedipo as a man who never compromises his beliefs. A short clip of the video comes right up. Ensure to watch, stay tuned, and enjoy. We were taking the first goodwill message from our mama, Mama Margaret Idahosa, who will be giving us her goodwill message in a few moments. Let's give Jesus a big hand of praise. It's a joy for us as a family and friends of this ministry from Church of God Mission International to be here to come and enjoy and celebrate an icon. At 70, your life has become like an oak tree or a big elephant that when children go there, they say, close your eyes and tell me what you see. They go, oh, they touch the tail. Oh, the tail is as long as a snake. The, when they touch the leg, oh, the leg is very, very fat. In all, the children described the elephant. I have said this to say this, that your life has become like a big elephant, that everyone can describe differently. <laughs> the one you have given scholarship will tell you, I have a father, even though the, the, my biological father is no longer here, but I have a father who is paying my school fees. For that child, you have become a father. That we, the biological father, couldn't do. For the woman that you have built a house for, for the widow that you have fed, 
for the students that are in school and for the pastors that have fed from you. We all have different stages in life that we can describe you. But one thing I'm glad for is that God sees you as a transmitter, as somebody who never stops giving out. God sees you as a pipeline that has never been blocked. As God brings, you flow out to people. 70, you have just completed the first phase. <laughs> because 70 starts for completion. We are starting again. As Pastor Bassan just said, <laughs> You've just started. That's true. That's true. 26 years ago, my husband left this planet. And when the Thanksgiving was done, many people came from everywhere. Oh, they said, Margaret, you have no problem. Anytime you have anything to do, just give me a call and we will be there. 26 years after, I look back, they are far, 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 far. Some never, never to be seen. But I have said that to say this, you have remained constant. storm that I have passed through in ministry you have always been there every storm I have passed through in paying school fees is standing with me the children are here today where is uh, Barista Ruth please stand this is our time where are you okay that's she over there that's, this is my first son, Bishop Feb Idahosa. The second, the first girl is, where is she? Please raise up your hand. Okay, that's she there. Yes. Barista Ruth Rotiade Idahosa. Where is Daisy? Daisy is right here. Where is Pastor Frida? Okay, right there. Bishop Wale is here. I've told Bishop Wale it's just because you didn't come through my, my, my birth canal. But you are a son. Amen. I have four orders that I have adopted into the family that I have given my name that I have trained. I have, I'm saying this so that you know that your lineage is not just one, two, three, four. No, we are many. <laughs> this ones. Many times you have called your son, Febi Dahosa. Hey, come to. Lagos. Yes, daddy. You will sit him down and begin to pump in him the word of faith. 
I want to thank you. I stand here today as an archbishop, but I, I know that I'm Margaret Idahosa. That is the title given to me, but I like it. And I'm glad that I am what I am. I want to thank you, sir, for that which you have done in our lives. There is nothing that we can equate to that which you have given me. <laughs> 26 years passed. When that day came, I didn't know what to do. But you came and you said, Mom, see, don't worry. God knows why. But we are here. Ah! Hallelujah! That made me to understand that those that covenanted together or those that has caught covenant when one is gone the covenant remains. I am here today. I'm 81. You have never left me or the children. Those that have seen us they always wonder, how did they do it? But the covenant that you caught with Archbishop Benson Idahosa lives on. <laughs> and when I am no more here, are you, that's a long, long time. Where is Pastor David? These two, where is Isaac? Amen. And those girls there, we are all one. And nothing will break us. You know why? Because the one that covenanted together, they lived together, they worked together, they cancelled together, they enjoy one another together. These ones, they will do the same. Because of the life that we are living. Well, on behalf of these ones and those ones there, I want to say happy birthday. For, for your immeasurable love and infinite love towards us. Happy birthday to you, sir. Happy birthday to you, ma. And happy birthday to all of us. Baba Deboye, thank you very much. Okonkwo, thank you very much. And Wale, uh, okay. I, I, I have... For giving everything. <laughs> because he promised me and he did not come, but it's all under the blood of the Lamb. Let's go.